market manipulation, buyouts, waifu tax. Irregardless of the reason, female full art supporters have been skyrocketing in price over the past couple of years. In today's video, we're going to take a closer look at some of the more expensive female full art supporters, and then also take a look at a few of the more affordable female supporter cards that could be primed to take off in the future. Before we do that, please take a quick second and subscribe to Jake. All right, so we're going to start off with a very popular one, uh, and we're going to look at a lot of the more popular cards to start off this list, and then jump into some opportunities for more affordable female supporter cards. Uh, this is the Lily, and in English, uh, this card is already very expensive. A lot of these cards in Japanese have gotten to pretty obscene prices. We're not going to look at the Japanese versions for today. Um, but for this one specifically, it was already expensive a year ago. We were above $200, and over the course of the past year, this thing has more than doubled in price. It doesn't look like there's an end in sight for a lot of these cards. You'll notice the trend is going to be very similar across the board. Um, I do think that these are kind of a risky play, but no risk, no reward. So if you're feeling a little bit adventurous, then there could be some opportunities for some of these female supporter cards. Uh, so Lily, a very popular one. We're approaching that $500 mark. Prices have been going crazy. Same thing here with Alicia from Celestial Storm. Um, we've gone from around 137 a year ago up to 290 So again, we're more than doubling in price over the past year. Rosa is going to be the same story at around 120 a year ago. We're up at around 230 right now, essentially doubling in price for the Rosa out of Cosmic Eclipse. Dana didn't quite see the same growth at the end of last year. However, things really picked up in the spring of 23. So Dana from Team Up, there's a couple out of Team Up. Uh, and I think there's so many good cards in Team Up that some of these uh, female uh, supporter cards haven't taken off uh, so much back in the day and have started to really climb up now with the trend for these female supporter cards. So Dana up until even, you know, spring of this year, you could pick up for pretty cheap at around $25. At this point up at 55, so more than doubling in value for the Dana full art out of team up. Zinnia, I think this is a really cool card out of Dragon Majesty. I like this one a lot. And I do think that there is some justification for the, the prices for some of these cards because the artwork is really nice. Um, but you'll notice that the ma like there, there's some really nice male supporter cards as well uh, that have really cool artwork that just aren't going to see the same price points that we're seeing here uh, for some of these. So Zinnia out of Dragon Majesty, uh, this thing was at 45 a year ago and is now up at around 80, so almost doubling in price. Another really big one, I do like this card a lot. Uh, Misty's Favor was down at around that $80 mark a year ago. We're up at $180 now, so more than doubling in price over the past year. Whitney, Spring of 23. I mean, this card used to be cheap. You could pick this thing up for $30 a year ago. We're up at $70 now, so more than doubling in price. I really like the artwork on this one, though. Skyla, another very expensive female supporter card, and... Again, we're just seeing huge steady increase in price over the past year, uh, around 170 a year ago, up at 215 now. So not doubling in price for this one, but this is an older card that's had a little bit more time already uh, to increase in price and the status only going back a year. So was increasing quite a bit prior to that. We've got um, the other Lily, the less pop popular Lily out of Sun and Moon Base. And this one, again, it wasn't until the spring of 23 that this really started to take off. And then from there, uh, it just went parabolic and doubled in price. But a year ago, this card you could pick up for $22. We're kind of leveling off a little bit, dropping down to 91. Uh, but we were at 120 for the high uh, in the summer of this year. So we went from 20 to 120. I mean, the... the Profits you could have seen on uh, this card if you had picked up a bunch of copies a year ago uh, would be pretty incredible. Another one that I really like uh, out of Lost Thunder, we have the Mina Full Art. Uh, this one, again, it wasn't until around the spring when we started to see some really big growth out of this one. You could have picked it up again for 
$25 or so a year ago. We're up to 60 now, more than doubling in price over the past year. And Mars out of Ultra Prism. And there's a lot of uh, female full art supporters in Ultra Prism. So that set, uh, I think, is just going to continue to increase in price. I'm glad that I've got a few boxes of Ultra Prism as these things continue to climb. Uh, it's looking pretty good for uh, sealed Ultra Prism. But here with Mars, we were at around $25 a year ago. We hit um, a high of around uh, 53, so more than doubling in price as well for Mars. And we can see we're at the high or very near the high for a lot of these cards right now. I think that a lot of these things are continuing to climb. If you look at this in another three months, it'll probably be higher uh, than it is at this point for a lot of these cards. It doesn't look like we're done yet. Um, another one out of team up, we've got the uh, Nita. And this one again, really started to take off in the spring of 23. And before that, we were below $20. We are now up at around $47. Uh, so again, more than doubling in price uh, for this one. And from here on out, uh, we're starting to hit below that $50 mark, where I think we're hitting a price point that is a little bit more affordable for a lot of people. And I think if you're looking to jump in on some of these full art supporters, it's around now that you should probably start to pay attention uh, because you can still get in. I mean, there's been huge increase already on a lot of these, but you can still get in at a reasonable price point. Um, and if these things continue to climb, then uh, you'll regret not having picked them up now. So we've got the uh, Bridget from Breakthrough. So this one a year ago, $20, uh, now we're at 43. So as is the case with a lot of these cards, we've doubled over the course of the past year. Uh, I think this is a pretty cool card. We've got this one uh, that I believe will do pretty... I, I think this one's kind of slept on. I think it's going to do very well in the future. Out of Celestial Storm, we have the Underground Expedition. Uh, so this one was around 20 um, in the fall of 22. And we're up at around 30 now. So... This one, not quite doubling like we've seen, but about a 50% increase. And we're at the all-time high right now. I think this one is continuing to climb up from here. One of my favorites. Um, I really like this card. I wanted to buy a few of these cards like years ago, and I didn't, uh, regretting it now. Um, this card, a year ago, like within the last year, we could have picked it up for $22.50 around that mark. We are up now at... 41 42 dollars so starting to catch on a little bit um and i think this one the artwork is really cool i like this card a lot uh and i do think that this one will be a lot more expensive in the future i think this one's kind of slept on right now um definitely a really cool artwork that you can pick up right now for under 50 dollars skyla from breakpoint so there's some very expensive uh skyla cards this one has been seeing some pretty crazy growth. Again, wasn't so much until the spring of 23 that this one started to pick up. Um, and we've gone from round about that $25 mark uh, up to around 58 for the high. Uh, so doubling in price for this one over the course of the past year as well. This one, another really cool card. We have uh, Mallow from Guardians Rising. Um, this one was pretty cheap as well. We were at around that $17, $18 mark uh, back in the fall of 22. We are up at $45 now, pretty close to that all-time high. Looks like we're going to continue to probably see new highs for this card. Uh, really nice artwork, though. I like the uh, background on this card. And I think the background for a lot of these cards is kind of like a selling point as well. Like we can see it with the, the Lily has an awesome background. Uh, same thing with the Lycia. I think the background is one of the selling points with a lot of these cards. Um, so yeah, I really like the background on this one. Pokemon Center Lady. This one is cheap right now out of Vivid Voltage. Um, hasn't seen the same kind of like parabolic growth that we've been seeing with other cards. It's kind of choppy for this one. Um, we started the fall of 22 at around $11, 11 dollars uh, We hit highs at around 16 Things have been dropping off since. Uh, but I think this is one that we could see some uh, some room for upside potential in the not-too-distant future. Cynthia. Uh, so, a more recent set here with Brilliant Stars. And 
I think this is a nice card. Um, it has not seen the same growth that we've been seeing out of uh, a lot of the other cards that we've been looking at on this list. Um, but let's go back a year. We can see that we were actually higher a year ago uh, at 850, now down at around $6. Um, so keep an eye out for this one. Uh, there's going to be more of these in circulation. Anything that we're, we're looking at, like as we kind of get into Sword and Shield, uh, printing was increasing a lot more. So there's just going to be more supply for a lot of these. Uh, and they're newer, so less people kind of had time to destroy them and not understand the value. Um, but overall, long term, could be a good opportunity to pick up some of these uh, Cynthia's Ambition and hold for a while. I expect these will probably increase in the future. Kind of the same story here uh, with the Professor Burnett. Uh, pretty radical artwork on this one. I like the card. Um, another pretty recent card. So we'll see how this performs in the future. We got up to around 1130 uh, around the launch of Silver Tempest. This was down around $6, but we are kind of on the way back down with this one. Uh, so keep an eye out if this continues to drop could be a good opportunity to pick some of these up i'm sure if we're a few years out from now these cards are going to be selling at a higher price point phoebe uh this one's pretty crazy this one was cheap for a long time out of battle styles again the background on this card i really like i like the colors on this one um we've got uh, about a year ago prices at near that $12 mark things actually uh, slowed down for a bit we were in the 10s for a while and then again spring 23 things went crazy a uh, huge move to the upside and we actually hit a high of near the $26 mark slowly settling down a bit um, since the summer but I think this card is really nice artwork um, and I think that there's going to be uh, a big increase on this one. Uh, I'm a believer in this Phoebe card. I think it's going to do pretty well in the future. Cheryl, another one out of uh, Battle Styles. Not the same huge spikes uh, doubling that we've seen out of a lot of the other cards, but slow and steady increase. Um, and overall, I think it's a pretty nice artwork. Uh, should do pretty well. Good opportunity to get in on this while it's still relatively cheap. This one uh, is pretty crazy. So from uh, Shining Legends here, we've got the Pokemon Breeder. Um, and this one, it's just uh, like, I mean, we were at $3 here a year ago and things were very steady. There was kind of like very little uh, change in price point for this one until look at this. Um, summer 23, and then this thing essentially doubled in price like overnight here. Uh, and we went up to 750. Um, so this one might be catching on prices might increase on the Pokemon breeder, uh, pretty cool background as well for this. I like the, the overall artwork for it. Uh, but it looks like this card is starting to take off. So, uh, could continue to move to the upside from here, but that's just a huge, huge spike doubling very, very quickly. Uh, out of shining, uh, shining fates this time we've got, uh, Skyla. So shining fates, there's a lot of supply. I think this one's a little bit risky um but that said kind of the same story with a lot of the cards where things were relatively stagnant until uh we hit spring of 23 and then we went from eight dollars up to 23 for the high so we pretty much tripled in price on this one very quickly um and then started to drop off since Again, I'm a little bit skeptical on this one just because I think there's probably a lot of supply. I know that there's Shining Fates still around everywhere, um, so I'm not so sure um, about jumping in on this one yet. Uh, but we can see that there is definitely some potential for, for huge moves to happen very quickly uh, on a card like this one. All right, we're getting to the end here. Uh, we're in Rebel Clash with the Sonya. This one, again, it was in the spring that it really saw a huge move. Uh, we were at a little bit above the $25 mark a year ago. And then very quickly, we jumped up to $55 for a quick period um, in the summer and then have been on a steady decline since. I like the artwork for this. I like the background. Uh, Sonya is a pretty popular character, pretty central to the whole Sword and Shield uh, storyline and theme. Um, yeah, it's been dropping. Keep an eye out for it. It might still continue to move lower. 
Uh, but again, could be some big opportunities uh, for upside potential in the future. We've already seen it above $50. It could definitely go back up there in the future. Misty's Determination uh, out of Evolutions. Uh, there is a lot of Evolutions. Uh, we've pulled this card on the Respect My Gangster channel before. I do really like the artwork. Uh, Misty's like, you know, one of my favorite characters uh, for sure. The OG characters take me back to my youth. Uh, radical artwork on this. I like the whole uh, bubbles and everything that's going on there. The, the water in the background. Um, not quite performing at the same level as like Misty's Favor. But um, overall, I think the artwork is really nice on this card. And we saw that it was really cheap for a long time. Back in the fall, you could have picked this up for $8.50. Uh, it did then jump up to uh, t above $22. So like almost tripling in price for a little while before starting to drop off since. Um, overall, really cool artwork for this one, though. I'm a big fan of Misty. And last, we've got... Olivia out of Crimson Invasion. So we're going back a little bit for this one. This card was cheap for a long time. Uh, you could have picked this up for like $9.50 in the fall. And then again, in the spring, things started to go crazy and this card jumped up to $24 or so. Um, so more than doubling in price. Another uh, relatively cool card here. Uh, it's kind of started to level off or start to drop off a little bit, but that's only recently. So time will tell where this one goes. Um, but overall, I think uh, we've seen some incredible movement to the north uh, for a lot of these female full art supporter cards. Today, I just wanted to take a look at some that were still a little bit more affordable, and I think that there's definitely a lot of room for growth for a lot of the cards on this list. I do think if we look back in a couple of years' time, if this trend of movement to the upside for female supporter cards continues, these cards could be a lot higher uh, in price. They're a little bit of the less popular ones right now, but lots of room for upside potential. The more popular these cards continue to be, the more people are going to be trying to collect them and have a full collection of all these female uh, supporter cards as well. Uh, hopefully all the supporter cards, because I think there's a lot of really cool artwork for a lot of the male ones as well. But uh, on the theme of today's video, uh, we're just looking at the, the female supporter cards. And that is going to do it for this one. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What are your favorite female supporter cards? What are your favorite male supporter cards? What do you think is going on with these cards? Is it all hype? Is it market manipulation? Are these cards going to continue to move north in the future? What are your favorite supporter cards, male or female? Um, most importantly, thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you for all the support on the recent videos. Uh, reminder that we will be giving away this Astral Radiance Elite Trainer box to one subscriber on the channel once we hit 420 subs. All you have to do to be entered for your chance to win is leave a like, leave a comment, be subscribed to this channel, and most importantly, subscribe to Twice Baked Jake.